All right, all right, guys. This is DJ Blazing coming at you live. And right now, we are with my homeboy, Poncho. Poncho, you know, you already know. How's it doing? How are you doing? And what's going on, man? Uh, you know, DJ Blazing, man, you know, I'm just thankful. I thank God for my life each and every single day. I thank God for giving back to the nation. Uh, this is one of my uh, number one best things is to give back. And before I get started, before we get started on the interview, shout outs to uh, John uh, Pittman and Megan Duff, I believe, or Megan, uh, I forgot last name, but shout outs to both John Pittman and Megan. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, well, two of my favorite teams lost. First, the Upac men's basketball in the NAI uh, tournament, the first, very first round. And then Kentucky Wildcats, uh, my home team, they got shut down in the second round against Indiana. I mean, Indiana put the pressure on them. They would not stop giving up. And uh, when you don't have big guys for Kentucky, uh, we're used to the big guys. When you don't have big guys that's used to being effective or whatever, it takes a toll on you, and vice versa, the UPAC men's basketball team, we had the big guys this year, but our biggest problem was the lack of, uh, how can I say this, the lack of organization, the lack of uh, teamship, that's how I put it. When you don't function as a team, it takes a toll on you, so unfortunately, about two favorite teams, UPAC men's basketball and Kentucky Wildcats got knocked out in the tournament. Oh man, you know, you know, definitely shout outs to the people, man. You gotta shout out people. But let me ask you something. What is your future? Talk a little bit about your future. You know, my future, I see a bright future in the church. I see a bright future in my music and I see a bright future in education. Eventually, uh, I want to get my master's and doctoral degree. I'm on my way to get my bachelor's degree and I Thank the Lord for bachelor's degree. And just being at the University of Pikeville, it's taught me a whole lot, and I've grown so much at the University of Pikeville. As far as uh, my spiritual life, I'm planning on staying in the church uh, most effectively. I'm still saved, sanctified, filled with that sweet Holy Ghost, still in God's presence. But I, you know what? I'm probably going to elevate my spiritual life. I don't know how yet, but it's going to be in effect. And music, as far as that concerns, woo, baby, baby, music, we're going to take off. And you're going to hear that uh, hit single, Miss Amazing. That is going to be a classic song, and everybody has got to tune in and watch that. And Real Love G-Mix, I think the music video is going to be coming out for that soon, I'm not sure yet. Woo-wee, man, that sounds interesting. And, man, you already know we're going to do tr more tracks and stuff. So, your future is looking great as far as education, spiritual, and music-wise. But, let me ask you something right quick. Why do you help people? Explain a little bit about that. Hey, you know, I help every single person that I can. That's, uh, that's what God put me on this earth for, besides music and uh, spiritual life, is to give back to the nation and to help those in need. You know, I ain't got time for the ones that, th that thinks they know it all, or, uh, people that you can't tell them anything and they think they're all in a bag of chips. I'm out for the people that's struggling in need. I'm out for the people that's dying lost and going to a burning hell. I'm out for the people to reach out to them, to get their souls saved before it's too late. And I'm with the people that struggles and that the nobodies basically, the people that nobody wants to hang around with. I'm going to hang around those people most of the time. So, God definitely put me on this earth to help uh, those in need, especially those that don't get the respect and treatment that they deserve. All right, why continue to poke the bear? Why do you continue to do that? You know, it's not a matter of poking the bear. It's a matter of place, uh, is what I can say. It's a matter of honor, dignity, dignity and respect. You know, I don't continue to disrespect or poke the bear or anything. People, when people listen to interviews, when people listen and watch videos, as soon as you mention their name, whatever, 
they automatically react. It's like, oh my God, he said my name once again. I'm just going to wear him out. I'm going to slap him so hard. Or, oh my God, he done said my name. I told him that even though he thought that I was pretty whatnot, I don't want to be mentioned. When people here get their name mentioned all the time, you know, eventually it does uh, wear you out as far as friendship wise. Now, and honestly, uh, me and Mr. 1000, I'm going to be honest. Personally, I love the guy, Mr. 1000. Man, me and him, oh, if there's a friend in need, if there's a brother in arms, he is the guy to go to. I mean, as far as friendship and as far as being there for you. I mean, he can laugh and cut up with you and he can clown with you. I mean, he knows how to bring a good time out in people. But what I have a problem with is business. Hey, Poncho, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of yours. I mean, me and you do a whole lot of stuff. But, you know, aren't you just taking this just a little bit over the edge? No, I don't think I'm being hurtful. I don't think I'm being hesitant. I think that's what I think is, I have a problem with him business-wise. When it comes to business decisions, it's just, when you put business with personal feelings together, for every action there's a reaction. So, this is why I come in business. Because I've learned, I've grown so much in being a businessman, but Having this classic basketball game in a 24 pickup bas 24 by 4 pickup basketball game with Mr. 1000 is definitely what's best for business. But if Mr. 1000 doesn't want to do what's best for business, hey, I threw out the challenge that every person in Pikeville, Kentucky, whether you're a student, whether you're a worker, a janitor, a preacher, minister, whether you're an athlete, non-athlete, whether you got disability or no disability, whether you got a hurt leg or a broke arm, it doesn't matter. Somebody's gonna get an opportunity of a lifetime with DJ Blazing. Because a contract for my practice radio show, Q Radio 97.5, is in effect. And whoever accepts this pickup basketball game on April 6th, April 9th, rather, April 9th. Whoever accepts, and should they win against Mr. Blazing, they will have an opportunity of a lifetime to not only host, but to take full control of my practice radio show, Q Radio 97.5. And I guarantee you, somebody is going to be crazy enough. Somebody's going to be willing enough to accept the challenge. That's the difference between me and Mr. Ward Dallas is he barks, 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 and he talks, 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 but there's no action. See, with me, Mr. Blazon, I do whatever it takes to get the job done. If you don't believe me, ask people in Harlan County and ask people in Pike County, and they will all tell you that I do whatever it takes to win. And like I said, Mr. Blazing versus Mr. 1000 is definitely what's best for business. Ah, well, you know, either a feud's going to get uh, settled or somebody new is going to come. Hey, you never know. Somebody will definitely take care of the opportunity. Somebody will take the opportunity. But what does this mean to you? What does this not mean to you? You know, this uh, classic basketball game, DJ Blazing, means so much to me. I'm not fight I'm fighting not only for me, I'm fighting for my family, I'm fighting for my future Miss Amazing, for, for my Miss Amazing that is, I'm fighting for my future grandchildren, I'm fighting for the University of Pikeville, I'm fighting for Pikeville, Kentucky, I'm fighting for Harlan County, Kentucky, I'm fighting for everybody in the world and everybody in the nation. And most of all, I'm fighting for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, my God, my Holy Ghost. And I'm fighting for all the JV kids, JV athletes that want a future. 
whether it be in basketball, baseball, football, or whatnot, hey, I'm fighting to survive. The people want to know, who is Miss Amazing, and when will you all meet? Uh, Miss Amazing, uh, <laughs> uh, DJ Blazing, man, I'm telling you, you and this question would be Miss Amazing. I can tell you this, Miss Amazing is four things. She's beautiful, she's got a great personality, a great attitude, and a woman that's not perfect, but a woman that understands and cares and loves and respects the people just like Mr. Blazing. Mr. Mason, like I said, DJ Blazing could be in Pikeville, Kentucky. She could be at the University of Pikeville. She could be in Harlan County. She could be in Texas, in California, in Tennessee. She could be in Colorado. She could be in uh, Utah, in Arizona. She could be in Mexico. She could be in Australia. She could be in Egypt. She could be in Canada. Miss Amazing is definitely going to be on my side soon. Miss Amazing is going to be with me someday. As a matter of fact, there's going to be a classic song. There's going to be a song on my newest album, From the Heart, it's called Miss Amazing. I guarantee you that song will be tremendous. That song is going to have so many hits, and that song is going to be a classic. And Mr. Mason will definitely be with me someday. I can see Mr. Mason right about now. I can definitely see her. Hey, I mean, and DJ Blazing, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of girls at the University of Pikeville that I would love to date. Hey, there's a lot of girls at the University of Pikeville that I've actually kissed on the cheek. There's uh, in Harlan County as well. There's a lot of girls in, uh, in Pikeville, Kentucky, and Harlan, Kentucky, and Kentucky, period, that I like. In Florida, and there's girls and women and ladies all over the world that I like. But Miss Amazing is going to be with Mr. Blazing. And I guarantee you, for the ladies that miss out, for the ladies that I tried to talk to and get with, hey, It'll be too late because Miss Mason will already be with me. And as far as me meeting Miss Mason, ah, DJ Blazing, you my buddy and all, you my friend and all, but it's for me to know and for you to find out. Kisses to Miss Amazing. Hey, and the ladies, you know, you know I'm a big ladies fan as well. But if you pod show, where the ladies at? <laughs> hey man, you know the ladies are all over the world. The ladies are everywhere. Hey, I got love and respect for the ladies, for the women, for every woman, for every ladies. At the University of Pikeville gave a lot of kisses on the cheek too, gave a lot of hugs too in Harlan County, I mean, uh, ladies and, and women that gave kisses around the world to a uh, nation. I mean, the ladies are everywhere. I love to be with the ladies. I love it so much. The ladies and women are so fine and beautiful. DJ Blazing, you definitely know from experience. Man, you know the ladies are all over the world. Everywhere. It doesn't matter where or doesn't matter how, but they are here with us all the time. And definitely kisses to the cheek and blow a kiss to them and say sweet things. It can either make you or break you.